clearly he's a predator. I mean, that's not even a question in our minds. We have um, 12 victims in this case, spanning from um, 1992, uh, people that were victims of uh, rape. And, and I think that we can all try to empathize um, with what that would be like, but it, it changes your life and changes your feelings of, of being secure for the rest of your life. And I think at, there were times that probably these victims and law enforcement gave up on finding this individual, uh, but we stuck with it. Law enforcement stuck with it. He was indicted under his DNA just so we could prevent the statute of limitations from running out in 2000. And uh, we now know who did it. There's DNA in seven cases and he pled and uh, he will be doing 156 years in prison on these cases in New Mexico, which is more than his lifespan. Uh, in addition, he's got cases in Colorado, he'll have cases in Texas, and possibly in Oklahoma and in other states across the country. So hopefully this will provide the victims with some measure of justice. Mr. Bruce, you've heard what Mr. Waymeyer just told the court on behalf of the state of New Mexico regarding the basic terms of this agreement, sir. Yes, I did. Has anybody forced or coerced you into offering these pleas of guilty here this morning? No, Your Honor. I don't even know if I can compare him to an animal, you know, because I don't even know if an animal actually acts like that, would act like that, would, you know. He's just not, I don't even know if there's a name for him. But he's glad that he's locked up and not able to walk out there and cause any more harm than what he has. Then could you start by telling us your name, please? My name is Dorothy Valdez. Ms. Valdez? And I'm here in, uh, speak in behalf of my daughter. Um, could I have one request, Your Honor? If Mr. Bruce could look at me while I read the letter. It really is his choice. Um, okay. So, so I think it's him. It's very short and brief. Robert Bruce, this is speaking for my daughter. I went to bed one night, a happy, confident 22 year old, only to wake up terrified, paralyzed with fear. My whole world was turned upside down. What was for you? Just one night of sick and twisted rape for me and all the other women you attacked. The beginning of a long and painful journey towards healing and learning to trust the world again. Here today is where I sever the ties, those invisible ties that kept me bound to that one night all these years. I will continue to heal, thrive, and live my life surrounded by all my family and friends while you sit and rot alone for the rest of your pathetic life. And I would like to say, I'm sorry, what you have done to all these women, there is no way in this world, whatever sentence you could get, that, that there is justice. And I, if it was up to me, and I know it's not a Christian thing to say, but for me, speaking as a mother, I wish that I could tattoo in your face, in your forehead, in the back of your head, and say, rapist. And everywhere you walk, everybody that would see would know exactly what kind of a man you, I shouldn't even call you a man, but you don't, I don't know what you are. So I just, so they could see exactly what you are. And I'm glad, and I hope, this is my time that most people say, I hope you live a long life is meant with, for good. But for me, I am hoping that you live a long life 
and not take the cowardly way out as this coward of a man that you are. That's all I have. Well, Liz, I appreciate you being here for your daughter this morning. Thank you. We just go on with our lives and be strong. And, she, and she's been very strong. She's a very strong woman. And that's all we can do and pray. This really is um, a, a situation where a variety of agencies worked together and cooperated. And it's because of that cooperation that we got such a good result.